Checks have just finished their prelims and the hot question on, on everybody's lips is what are you going to become? What are you going to do next year? What, 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 what? And when we look at the Bible, there's an interesting uh, principle there that I think we can teach our matrix and businessmen who are looking to hire young people. When we're introduced to King Saul, Israel is in the need of a king. They want a king. And we are introduced to Saul as, as a handsome man, a head taller than everybody else. Um, all the qualities you would want in a contemporary leader. It focuses on the what. As we would find out late in his life, near to the end of his life, uh, Saul's character failed him when his anointing couldn't protect him. His character failed him when his talents and attributes couldn't protect him. On the other hand, when we are introduced to Noah, we are introduced to some interesting things. It says that he was righteous, he was blameless among his peoples. It focused on who Noah was rather than what he could do. And here's the interesting principle. After we are introduced to Noah and God chooses Noah, the righteous man who was blameless among his people, who was walking the road with God, it goes on to, to tell Noah exactly how to build the ark. God qualified the person he called. He trained him and showed him the ways. He did not look for a qualified person and try to give them character. If you're a matric, I would like, like to challenge you to focus on who rather than what. Who are you going to be? What characteristics are you going to have? Work on your character rather than the what necessary. And then for business people, when you're looking to hire people, hire people with character and then qualify that character.